Gudra. Normally most dragons have like a mixed typing, but Gudra is one of those rare cases where it's just a pure dragon type. It's, you know, that's all it's going for. All it has going for it. That doesn't mean it can't really be utilized correctly. Just because it's a pure dragon type doesn't mean it's not going to do any kind of work. According to the Pokemon Y Pokédex, it attacks with retractable horns. It throws a punch that's the equivalent of the force of a hundred pro boxers. Seriously? It's not really much of a physical attacker, but imagine that. Just a hundred Epos just punching in at one time. It's a scary thought. Well, aside from that, what else can this Pokemon offer us? I know I've seen plenty of sets where Sapsipper is taken advantage of, and you know, you just throw on a assault vest and go to town. But what about Gooey? What about the other ability? As always, you never you don't have to follow my set exactly. You can make your modifications here and there. Also, it always depends on your team. Its EVs are 171 HP, 121 defense, 216 special defense. The reason I put these stats here is mostly because you do need some kind of defense because it ties in with the ability that I'll talk about later on. But it is pretty special defensive, so you have to invest some in there. And its health, most def you're going to have to invest in its health. Otherwise, two moon can't really live two moon blasts, or a moon blast for that matter. Its nature is relaxed, raises defense and lowers speed. Gudra isn't really all that speedy to begin with, and the focus here is more towards a defense. It'll, it'll become clear soon enough. Its ability is gooey, which basically means that Every time it's attacked physically, it'll lower its speed, or the opponent's speed will get lowered. And the item I gave it is Rocky Helmet. Or you can give it nothing, because it is funny to watch people try and knock off an assault vest from a Gudra that's holding nothing, only for them to get gooeyed, slowed down, and then, you know, move set. Now for the moves. Acid Armor. Normally this move is considered useless, but I think with my stats and the correspondence, well, at least with my stats, I think it'll actually boost it and benefit it way more. So that way it'll, it'll live longer in terms of taking physical damage. Body Slam. Now, I have a star next to this Body Slam. The reason I put Body Slam is because it's hilarious to paralyze somebody and then just have them lower their speed consistently, especially with the you know, with that, that's the entire set. It's basically a torture show. You're going to keep slowing yourself down. But the reason I put a star next to it is because you don't honestly need Body Slam. I did it for the, you know, <laughs> the, the giggles. But you could, you know, you could put Flamethrower. You can put uh, anything else that Gudra might learn. You could put maybe, you know, whatever. It doesn't have to be physical attack. It could be a special attack. Next is Dragon Pulse. You need a stab move on this Pokemon. A lot of physical attackers don't really have good special defense, and with Gujar having no investments in in its special attack, it still does a fair amount of damage, and plus it's stab, so you gotta have something like that. And finally we have Rest, because it is hilarious. Building up, you know, your asset armor maybe twice, <laughs> twice if you're lucky, and then just having it rest and then watching that guy just go into despair that he has to now find a way to kill this thing because you know you're extremely bulky and you're gonna be difficult to kill now here's the battle I decided to show the battle from the beginning just to show you the math on how it went so I send out my Crawdon called the Aqua Grunt knock off that Evial immediately I don't really care that rocks are up because that just gives me an advantage to start setting up he uses a U-turn doesn't kill me because well well because it doesn't then he sends out his little Rotom I'm figuring he's gonna burn this thing, so I Aqua Jet. Then he does burn me. But, surprise, surprise, I have a Lumberry because it's hilarious. So then I go for another Aqua Jet, and that kills it because adaptability plus Dragon Dance plus high attack equals fun. So now we got Crobat. I use Aqua Jet because I'm not gonna outspeed a Crobat. I already know that. Uses U turn, kills it off, that's fine, you know. So then. Goes in Ampharos. I'm pretty sure this is a Mega Ampharos, so I send out my Gyarados. Oh yeah, by the way, this is um UU Suspect. So he, yeah, he Mega Evolves as I predicted, so I just use Earthquake. Instead of using Cotton Guard, he should have just killed me off right there and then, but he decides to use Cotton Guard anyway. Honestly, that could have solved a lot more problems. He could have kept Ampharos alive a little more. Then I send out Espeon because yes, this was OU. Why is it? Why are we suspect testing this? This is very good. 
but you know, I don't make the rules. So he's another crook down my like, alright, fine. He's probably gonna use knockoff. Does I get one shot? I thought I could live. But I didn't. I couldn't. Notice how he has three physical attackers left. This is when you'd send out your Gudra. He uses knockoff, gooing, rocky helmet, broke the sash if he even had one. So now I start up. I start up the acid armor. Okay, so the next attack is definitely not going to kill me. Gooey. He slows himself down again. What was the point in investing speed? Plenty. I use acid armor again because I'm like, yeah, he's definitely not going to kill me now. Sends out his Mian Shao. Rest it up. Now he has to find a way to kill this thing. And honestly, it's three turns. He's not going to kill this in three turns. As you can see, he's just torturing himself, lowering his speed, attacking this bulky wall. Knockoff does precisely nothing because of my defense and because I don't have an item. And he's, I guess that's why he was scared of using it again. Use Dragon Pulse. No investments does that much to a man chow, but that's not surprising. Stone Edge doesn't do anything. It is just a marvelous. And I, and I get all four up because why not? Use Stone Edge Miss because that's 80% accuracy. And I'm like, yeah, pick, you know, I'll just rest again. Why not? I could just do whatever I want. Use the Stone Edge again, 9%. This thing isn't dying anytime soon, especially when you have all physical attackers on your team remaining. This, this, this is akin to torture. This, this, there's nothing you can do. Just look at it. Uses U-turn, lowers the speed again. Oh boy. Because, you know, it'll get to that point. You just have to, you know, time it well to, when you send out your Gudra. A lot of people, when they use, you know, Sap Sipper and uh, Salt Vest, they're using it to, like, kind of, like, you know, weaken, or like, you know, weaken the other um, Pokemon on the other guy's team, but for me, this is a physical monster. Just, just look at that. Two, two to three Dragon Pulses and that's it. And then here, Brave Bird. Oh, okay. Uses Gooey. Slow down a Crobat. You know, it's always a good time. Dragon Pulse. Guess what I'm gonna do next? He's gonna kill himself. And it's bed time for me. And what do you think Gligar and Mianchao are going to do? Nothing to this Gudra. So he forfeits naturally. I understand. At that point, you'd just be setting yourself up for failure. So yeah, final thoughts. Um, I think that this set works. You just have to, once again as always, make sure your team is balanced and in sync. And make sure that you send it out at an opportune time. In this case, once I got rid of the special attackers, I'm like, all right, this is Physical City, let's just go. I'll just send it out. Uh, thank you to this person for suggesting that I do a Gudra set. And if you guys want, I can still make more sets. Leave your ideas in the comments below, and I will catch you guys later.